hello guys welcome back so now we are going to retrieve the user information as well as on the home page we are going to check if the user has been blocked by the admin then the user will not be allowed to use the app as you know that we are going step by step currently we have not yet implemented the admin panel but we have added the information about the blog status okay so we will basically retrieve the value of it if it is yes then the user will not be allowed to use the app and if it is no it means the user is allowed so anyways on the home page now what we need to do is above the widget build we will implement a method by the name get user info and check block status we will create a reference to database so we can say database reference reference firebase database dot instance dot reference dot child users we are going to retrieve the logged in user information so we will pass the logged in user UID that is using the firebase auth we can say dot instance dot dot current user dot uid so this is our reference the logged in user information we are going to retrieve so we can say wait a reference dot once dot then data snap data snapshot using this data snap we can get the logged in user information we have access to that for example first we will check if data snap if that data even exist so we can say data snap dot snapshot dot value if the current user information or you can say record exist in the database so you will check if it is not equals to null then retrieve otherwise if it do not exist then we will make sure that to sign out the user and send the user to the login page sign in page now using data snap for the logged in user we have access to the user logged in user this information so for example what we are checking is we will check if again parenthesis and then we can say data snap dot snapshot dot value as map and the value which we are checking it is the block status first of all so we can say block status so if the block status become equals to no it means the user is not blocked by the admin so we will simply get the information for example information is the name of the user which is by the key name name okay and then the next information that we will retrieve is the phone of the user so what we need to do is in the global dot dot let's we have already the username and user phone variables so to that we will assign this for example username we will assign the name and to the user phone we will assign the phone now if it is equals to yes then the else part will exist uh, will execute and we have to let the user know to contact the admin because you are blocked so we can say associate methods dot show snack bar message the message will be you are blocked contact admin and admin email for example this is my email so I write my email you have let's say your official company email which you can type here and we will make sure 
that the user is signed out the user is not allowed to go inside the app so anyways now what we can do is we will just display the information on the header drawer header instead of username we can just say username add the const keyword here and here as well make sure to call this method from in here okay once we get the user current location then we can call this method now let's install the app on the phone to see the results so the app is running now and if you click on the hamburger button you can see it retrieve the logged in user information that is for example the username which we display here now as you know that Muhammad Lee user is currently logged in okay and the st block status is no that is he's uh, Muhammad Ali has approved account that's why he is logged in now to check this feature the block feature which we implemented just now to see the result what we will do let's change the value of this manually for example from the database change this no to yes okay and then re uh, install the app on the phone again and you will see the result as you see you are blocked contact admin and the user is logged out and sent to the sign in page because the user is blocked even if this user try to log in again then you already know that I have to show you guys the code we have also implemented the status on the sign in page that is if the user try to log in now then the user will not be allowed because this user is blocked you will see okay this is the email that is the authentication error that is email is badly formatted so let's provide the correct email password so you see you are blocked contact admin so now when the admin uh, enable the account let's say no as I told you guys we are going step by step the admin web panel we will implement later on in the upcoming videos for now we are doing it manually just to check the features okay so now when the user click on the login the user will be allowed because the account is approved now you can see it so it is working fine